Good morning everyone. I just wanted to stop in and, and share a quick video and let you know what's going on. Um, last week I was very, very ill. I had another partial bowel obstruction and uh, they don't do very much for me at the hospital these days because um, nobody will operate on me due to my risk factors. Um, so I stayed home. I didn't end up going to emerge. <clears throat> I just ended up staying home and, you know, lots of bed rest and I slept a lot and, uh, ended up getting quite dehydrated and I was on the verge of going to, um, the big university hospital in London, um, emerge and I started feeling a little bit better. Um, so long story short I stayed home things have gotten a bit better I've been feeling slightly better I've been able to eat and drink so that's an improvement due to being um, so dehydrated last week I think I may have a, a, a couple kidney stones um, that I'm dealing with this week uh, that's starting to alleviate as well um, but I'm spending a lot of time in bed and unfortunately I haven't had a chance to color in well over a week, maybe almost two. So um, lots has been going on. I, uh, I just have this here for something for you to look at for a second. I ended up getting the Fila's 152 pencil set. They are nice um, alternative to my Prismas. I was finding, sorry about that, didn't mean to hit the cord. I need to just slowly back that up. So um, I find that my Prismas, as I'm learning to color, my Prismas um, are, you know, I'm using them and I'm kind of feeling a bit stingy with them. So I wanted an alternative for my practice. So I ended up um, getting a lot of recommendations for this set of pencils and they're not expensive. I got them on Amazon and they are a soft color or a soft uh, wax. Uh, the colors are nice and vibrant here. Sorry about that. This I'm going to have to deal with this cord issue because I, can be, I only have so much room and this cord just seems to be right in my way. Anyway, so here is the color list that comes with the Fila. Let me zoom in just a smidge so you can get a better idea of the pigmentation of these colors. So here they are. They are very nice. Again, like I said, nice soft colors. Um, I, I'm really enjoying the cool earthy to tones. I like the fact that the um, I have the color name and the let me grab one out here. So I do have um, a color number only on this pencil and sorry about my nails. Um, I should have had them done by now, but, uh, I only have so much energy and I really wanted to, you know, get online and record a small video today. And so as you can see, there is the number, it is zero. 064. I don't, the camera is not focusing. Let me just put autofocus on for a smidge. There. Come on, camera. You can do it. Anyway, so um, I would like it if the color were on these as well, um, just for 
easier identification. Um, they are, um, let me grab my scratch sheet here. So here is just barely touching the paper. Very, very light pressure. And as you can see, if you continue to lay it down, it layers beautifully and it's getting darker, but I have not changed the pressure that I am placing on the pencil. So right now I'm going to just increase the pressure just slightly so we can visualize the layering capacity that these have. And again, I'm going in just a smidge harder so I'm probably at medium pressure now. Again, you can see that I am holding um, my pencil closer to the end. This allows me to have a bit more control over the pressure I am placing on, on the pencil. If you color like this, you tend to put more pressure on the tip. Whereas here, I can just go in and slowly add those layers until it's the intensity that I want. So as you can see, they do layer quite nicely. Um, now, uh, I am really new to coloring and so I'm probably not the best person to give you a review, but I wanted you to see these pencils. So I have gotten those within the last week and I also, let me just bring that color sheet back so you have something to look at for the moment. Sorry about that. So, and I'm going to take autofocus off once it focuses again. Come on. Sorry, I am just trying to control. I am so new with this. It's a brand new webcam as well. So I am learning this videoing. I'm learning coloring. I'm learning so much at once. Um, I've maybe, I think I've done one live stream. So what else? Um, I have started um, a couple of small little coloring sheets just to to color for something to do while I'm in bed without really having to concentrate too hard. Um, so uh, I, I have started to color this. Um, I have done this with uh, the Prismas and the Filas as well as in my scrap box last month we got some chameleon pencils and i really like them i like the fact that there's uh two complementary colors so as you can see on some of my blueberries here i have light and dark shadow that is the same pencil and i will show you for those who haven't seen them these are the chameleon pencils. So here we have the lighter blue and the darker blue. And it's one pencil, so you always have a complementary color. And um, I find I love the way that they lay down color. I enjoy um, how they're 
layering. It's been a lot of fun to uh, incorporate these into some of my works. So as you can see, I haven't really done a whole bunch, but it was a way for me to color a little bit last week. And I got to test out the six colors of Chameleon Pencil Crayons that I got in my scrap box. I also purchased on Prime Day, I got the set of 120 polychromos. Um, I got a really good deal. It was, I couldn't pass it up. I was going to ask for them for Christmas this year, <laughs> but for the amount of money I paid for them, uh, it was worth it to buy them now. And plus, then I can ask for something else for Christmas. <laughs> um, so um, those should be delivered by... I believe it's the 27th. I haven't checked on it in the last couple of days to see exactly when um, it will be shipped and if there's been any change in estimated shipping date. I also am, I have a new coloring buddy by the name of Beth. So Beth, if you're watching, hi hon. She has been um, very instrumental in giving me confidence and helping me um, learn a few things she's been she has videotaped some things for me so that i can watch how she colors and understand her thought process we matched up together on um ann's group a colorful life if you're not aware and she had a mentorship program and unfortunately that mentorship program has been cancelled um, but Beth and I are our friends and so we're going to continue together as she has knowledge which I would gladly love to learn and she's an excellent colorist and I'm looking forward to coloring with her. I We have chosen to do um, one of the colors in my Alice in Wonder, or one of the pages in my Alice in Wonderland coloring book by um, Fabiano Atanasio. And the one that we picked to do together is this one. And the reason that, oh, sorry, let me back out so that you can actually see which page we have chosen. So hopefully that's nice and centered for you. It is a really, really cute picture. It's got some large elements, which is one of the things that I was looking for specifically for um, this um, instructional with Beth so that it's not fine detail. It is a larger detailed piece so that I can really learn um, where to put the shading and the highlights. And so I'm really excited to start this. I haven't started yet. Um, I'm going to do her skin first and I'm going to try and follow along um, with the video that Beth sent me. I may change up the colors just a bit, but uh, she did a really good job. And then we'll go from there. So this is the picture that we're going to color together. And so I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of that with her. Um, I also have this picture um, that I received in my um, Jade Summer um, 50 Greatest Hits, which is this book here. If you haven't seen it before, it is absolutely stunning. I love Jade Summer books because of the black background. Um, and for this specific book, um, I get a couple of pages from all of her coloring or all of the Jade Summers books. So, you know, you've got vampires, unicorns, mermaids, you name it. It's in here. 
great book to have. Plus, when you purchase the actual coloring book, there's a code in the back that allows you unlimited downloads of every picture in this book. So if you enjoy testing and practicing a little bit before you get to a specific project, um, Jade Summer books are nice for that. Um, I have a whole bunch of these I have printed and I am going to try. This is the only um, picture I have completed um, and what I'm going to do is try and leave the actual book coloring um, for when I get really good and that way I have permanent record of <clears throat> some of the things I've colored. I also wanted to show you that during um, one of Sammy's uh, lives, I think it was yesterday or the day before, she had a page. I uh, will zoom in just a smidge. She had a work in progress um, page that she would put um, the colors. So say for instance, I was doing this picture here. I would put what coloring book it was. I would put the artist, the date that I started and the date that I finished and below on those pages. So there will be, you know, depending on what the picture is. So, so let's use this one for example. So, um, I would have a little subsection that said skin and I would list the colors that I used on the skin. So that way, if I leave a work in project progress, which I will do most of the time because I don't know if I would ever due to, due to my illness, be able to sit and color a full picture, um, in one sitting. And so I want a record that will show what I'm doing with each picture that I've colored and that way I will know for future reference as well. So I just was playing around with some of the stencils that I have and looking around my desk. Oh, there, there. So I have purchased a bunch of these really thin stencil um, let me see if I have something of color that I can put behind so you guys can see. And I do, but let's hopefully there's not an avalanche here. So you can see on this one, we have lots of little icons, Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, um, and some things. And then this one, I have the months of the year with little symbols and this one we have um, se separators, line separators I think they are and uh, I, this way what I'm going to do is I just kind of did a little mock-up here of getting ideas of what I would like and I have a um, traveler's notebook that I will be filling with only uh, work in progress sheets. So I'm very eager to start and get this going, but I definitely wanted to come in and see you all today and kind of give you an update as to where I've been. Um, I have tried to come in and see some of your live streams. Um, but I only get to come in for a few minutes at a time. Um, but I am watching them on my own as I can. And uh, so that's it for now. Um, I do hope to be able to do some coloring today. I'm not sure what exactly I feel like coloring. Uh, I may start on my Alice in Wonderland or... I may start something else. Uh, I, I really don't know, but I'm thinking I'm going to try and do a live. I don't know how long it'll be, and I don't know when it'll be, 
So look for me a little bit later and definitely this weekend. And uh, I appreciate you being around. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday all. Bye.